1990, this town had less than a thousand people. 1990. It was a tough town. People would drive through Main Street and roll up their windows, lock the doors, and hope. And that's all changed. We just started construction about uh, a month and a half ago. Our experience in, in Charlottesville, Virginia is about aerial, most of it, um, and we needed to change uh, drastically that, that approach here in Holy Springs, North Carolina. We're actually directional boring underneath the street to bring some, some conduit, the medium for bringing the fiber across the street. They can actually guide that drill left, right, up, or down it has a transponder on the drill head. We can actually pull the conduit back through the hole, which is it's, it's a lot quicker and a lot easier than most other methods. But sometimes it might not be the appropriate way to build over there. Um, so we have the other method, very common, which we use, stitch boring. It's about every 25 to 35 feet, sometimes 50 feet, they open up a pit, and there's a, a three-foot missile, it's a pneumatic missile, and it makes its way under the ground. And we also do plowing, which we'll use to take the small conduit from the curb to the customer's home. When we dig our holes, we'll try to cut that top layer of sod out and set it to a side and try to keep it as moist as possible. And when we finish, all the dirt goes back in the hole. We use a pneumatic tamper to tamp the dirt back down and we lay that sod back on top of it. And for the most part, you can barely tell where we're there. You can see a little disruption, but in a few days it typically comes back to normal. There are, there are things which you'll, of course you will see. Uh, any homeowner, myself, I would see any, any uh, cut in the grass, uh, but it heals itself. You have to give it a little bit of time and it's coming back. When we make decisions here, you look way ahead. And you think it's going to be good for the kids, fine. If somebody says, well, you know, in one year or so, that's not going to be good at all for the kids, then we don't do it. So with that in mind, what I would say is, this is part of the future. And we like to be ahead of everybody, in, especially in Wake County.